When typing on a keyboard, every key makes a somewhat unique sound. An audio recording could theoretically be used to retrieve the keystrokes. To show this vulnerability, I implemented, as a proof of concept, an algorithm that could do just that using supervised machine learning. This is how the attack medium works. Keystrokes of a user is picked up by the attacker's microphone. The waveform is recorded and goes through a neural network. The character sequence is the output. For this project, I only tackled a subset of the problem. I only considered 7 keys out of the 40 or so that may be used for password entry. To get my training data for the network, I recorded thousands of key sounds using this Dell keyboard. This waveform is the sound produced by a single key. It contains some information that we need to extract, which would be quite hard with classic digital signal processing algorithms. I use Keras with TensorFlow to implement a pretty simple multi-layer perceptron network in Python. It is trained on my labeled recording set. Now that the neural network is ready, the recognition process is simply a case of filling its input with new, unknown, recorded data. In this case, entering the word password with the same keyboard it was trained on. We can now launch the script and get its prediction. Each key is associated with a probability representing the confidence of the network. On the right is the choice with the highest probability according to the neurons. In this case, the prediction is quite accurate. It was mostly able to get the password right. In a less ideal setup, the accuracy might be lower, but the entropy of the entry is reduced a lot, especially considering that we could combine this with dictionary attacks to further improve the accuracy. This technique does work in my simplified setup. It is able to extract the key presses from an audio recording of the keyboard it was trained on. Of course this is a proof of concept, but it shows that this is valid concern. To make it somewhat practical, we have to make it learn automatically with unlabeled recordings, which is doable using dictionary and statistics. I discussed some limitations and mitigations in the write-up article that is on my website. Links are in the description. Also in the description is the GitHub repository containing the source code of this experiment.